welcome back everyone, welcome back to another wonderful day here on Strife Farm down in Star Dew Valley. Um, I don't even know what we're up to today. Let's check the weather report and the fortune teller like normal though. It is, uh, going to be snowy tomorrow and the fortune teller says that the spirits are very happy. Hey, that's fantastic. So, uh... Oh man, I got stuff all over in my inventory. I don't know what I was up to yesterday, because <laughs> recording stuff, you know, things, whatever. Uh, ooh, hey, I have just enough to smelt an extra bar. That's nice. Uh, I've got a freaking scarecrow in my inventory. I keep forgetting to take the scarecrow out of my inventory, of all things. Okay, and um, it is the twenty. Third, I think it's Leah's birthday today, which means that I need to dig in and uh, take something here. Where is it? Should be here somewhere. Here we go, a bottle of wine. An artisan, cranberry wine, artisan goods. Now this is the really, really high quality stuff. Stuff that ultimately it doesn't really matter the what I give to uh, Leah, but because, because she's an NPC, you know, the, the way that the game hashes up the numbers, but, um, I'm gonna give her some of the really, really nice stuff, okay? So. And then I will, uh, do some other stuff, uh, before heading into the mine. Anyway, uh, hi, William. One of these days you should come to my room after dark, maybe around 8 p.m. I want to show you something. Abby. Oh. My. What? Oh my god, I've romanced Abby. Accident. Before Lee. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, dear William. Ooh. Dear William, tomorrow is the feast of the winter star. Did you get ya, did you get a gift for your secret friend, Marty? The feast starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you there. Mayor Lewis. I forgot about this. <laughs> anyway, I gotta water crops. I gotta head out to the, uh, the secret forest. And, um, oh, there's just so much to do today. Hey, Leah, how are ya? It gets pretty cold in my little cabin. I just snuggle up under a huge blanket and I'm okay. Indeed. But I've got something for you here, Leah. It's wine. A birthday gift? It's very kind of you. I love it. Indeed, I hope you do because it's a very expensive bottle of wine. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's Clint. William, you caught me. Uh-oh. What's up? I was planning to ask Emily on a date. I was at her doorstep and everything, but then I heard her coming and I dove into this bush. Now I'm waiting until she's done talking with Caroline so I can sneak back into my house. <laughs> Ouch. He's so awkward. What did you just say? You'll never upgrade your tools again if I don't ask her out? <laughs> what? Did I really just say? You're a villain. You're a villain, William. <sighs> Alright, I'll do it. I gotta remember that advice William gave me in the saloon. <laughs> Just be yourself. Act natural. <laughs> um, Emily? Sorry, Caroline. Could you excuse me for a minute? Yes, Clint? I was wondering if you were with tomorrow, me... I've got two tickets for the Grample Teen Carnival tomorrow. Would you go with me? Sure, Clint, that sounds fun. Really? Uh, okay, I'll pick you up at five. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Did you see that? I got a date tomorrow night. Oh man, I'm so nervous. 
Holy. Okay. Oh crap! Oh crap! It's a flamin'. Oh, I don't know what the heck that thing is, but it 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 shoots fireballs, and I don't like it. All right. So, um, above everything else, because I'm not it, like I'm down on a level of the mind where gold is common, and gold is not my primary concern right now. You know what? I'm gonna swap the food and the. There we go. Uh, gold is not my primary concern, so. Like what I'm, uh, I'm in, I'm in a more significant need of uh, uh, iron. There we go. Why can't I think of things whenever I need to? Um, since I'm in a more significant need of iron than I am of gold, I'm not really going to focus on exploring these levels completely. Like, it's going to be a situation of, um, oh, there's gold. I might as well mine it. It's not going to be a situation of, oh, I need to completely explore each level because what is there for me to potentially find? Well, for the most part, just gold. You. Ow! What the fuck did you do? Holy crap, did he ever hit me hard. Alright, time for a root platter. Jeez. Ugh. Alright, still no freaking ladder down. There's still more space for me to explore, kill enemies, maybe spawn the exit that way. I hear more than one bat. Holy crap, there are four of them. Oh my god. Crying out loud. Give me the exit, for God's sake! Oh, man. I guess I gotta do it the hard way. There's no getting out of this level of the mine easy. There are, like, no enemies down here. Ah, finally! Ooh, hello! There's another freaking chest! Space boots! You received a space boots. Uh, four defense and four immunity. An iridium weave gives them a purp- uh, 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 a purple sheen. Wow. Hey, that's pretty cool. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. We're at 110. We only got 10 levels of the mine left to go. Well, that's, this has been pretty damn productive. Let's go back home. Ooh. All right, so... Hey, it's the Festival of the Winter f Star, or Feast, whatever. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll wait to give Marnie her secret gift. Okay, let's go and have a uh, chat with everybody else. Um, hmm, I used to be upset if I didn't win the ice fishing comp- I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. Oh, Pan, you're being so petty. Penny, what a beautiful tree! Really? Oh, hey, yeah, check it out. Hey, Willie. Do you want to hear the legend of the Winter Star? Yeah, sure. I didn't know that there was a legend. Durr. In the night sky of winter, there's a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believe that anyone who laid eyes on the Winter Star would be blessed with the good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as Star Drop is connected to the Winter Star in some way. Huh. Marlin? Hey, good afternoon. Clinic hours. <laughs> okay. Robin? Hi, uh, William. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Sebastian? Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. God, you freaking... Ugh. I'll probably get another tool set this year. <sighs> Vincent, can we open presents now? <sighs> of course you would be asking that. Um, Linus is over here, like always. I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. Man, he's always such a downer. And over here, we've got Alex. Oh, hello. What, that's all you got? And uh, Evelyn? Oh my! Aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing! <clears throat> Did that come out right? Uh, feast for some stupid star! Humbug! <laughs> oh 
man. It's not, it's not a good time of year for a diet. <laughs> you know it, Jody. Hey, Sam. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Maru? Hi, William. Hey, Abby. Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? I suppose that's true. Pierre? My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Boy, holidays are good for business. I wonder if I could invent some new ones. Uh, careful what you're doing there, Pierre. Ooh, I've had too much nog. <laughs> Shane? Uh, I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic. But me, I've never seen anything that could be explained by science. That couldn't be explained by science. Clint? <sighs> All these happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. God. Oh, why hello, William. It's chilly, isn't it? Uh, indeed it is, Elliot. Blah. It's a fine art making candy canes. You've really gotta search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. Leah? Gus was just telling me about his artisan candy canes. Yeah. Harvey? I'm thank- Nah, I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. Emily? Ah, oh, William! Wh what are you hoping to find under the tree this year? Uh, a jug of spiced mead. Ooh, that sounds nice. Make sure to give me a taste. Haley? I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. Um, am I missing someone? Is like the, uh... Is the wizard anywhere around? Hey, Maru. Give Mar- uh, not Maru, Marnie. Yes, we'll give Marnie this pink cake. Oh, so it's you! Haha, <laughs> a pink cake! Thanks! Oh crap, I didn't talk to Mayor Lewis. Okay, well, I guess we're starting the, uh, festival, whatever. Holy. Was Shane my... Hi, uh, so I'm your secret gift giver this year. Well, open it. What have we got? A glow ring. Hey, that's pretty useful. You received a glow ring. Sweet. It's nothing fancy, but it's the best I could afford. Hey, you know what? It's perfectly fine. A glow ring is always welcome. I didn't get to talk to Lewis, though. Oh. Oh, okay, so I guess that was uh, the little gift-giving event thing. So let's go ahead and chat with uh, Lewis now. Ah, today is a special time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. I guess that's everything. I, I, there's nothing left to do for me. I've talked to everyone. Um, I just uh, take a second look over. And uh, if this is indeed everything, then I guess that's going to be the end of... Uh... Wait, Leah. I think he had too much cinnamon nog. <laughs> well, I usually use Fern Island right ring fruit for my premier canes, you know. You can't beat that bright red coloring, and it's all natural. Oh, you want to know the secret to my deluxe double canes? Okay, you've got to promise absolutely, absolute secret, see, whisper. It's a drop of vanilla in the white candy to complement the cherry flavor. Of course, peppermint candy canes are, are the standard, and I always make a healthy batch of those as well. Hey, you look like you're falling asleep. Are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, Gus. Um, it's just not the most fascinating topic that I've ever run into. I guess that's it for the Feast of the, uh, the Winter Star or whatever. I don't suppose I can eat anything off the tables, can I? I don't think I can. Well, hey, this is, this is great. I enjoy it quite a bit. It's a little bit lackluster in comparison to the, uh, some other events. I was expecting more. But, I guess that's it. Leave the Feast of the Winter Star. Once you do, the festival will end. Yep, I'm good.
All right, Robin, let us construct a new farm building. We don't want a coop, we want a barn this time. Actually, come to think of it, is there anything larger that I can do? I can... Holy balls, I can build a big coop. Houses eight coop dwelling creatures. Barn, coop, four coop dwelling animals. Big coop, eight dwelling. Stable, silo, well, barn. I guess we'll just go with the standard size barn for now. Uh, let's build this thing. Um, I don't know where exactly I'm going to put it. Um, uh, this is the million dollar question right here, isn't it? Like, where do we put the barn? Um, I got a million and a half freaking saplings still, on, like little trees still on the ground that are going to be an enormous problem. Hmm. I don't know. Well, we can always be super inefficient with our space and just pop it down right there. Um, from what I'm to understand, uh, Concerned Ape is going to, uh, give you an ability to just, like, completely pick up a building and move it, uh, to replan your farm. <laughs> or something along those lines, so we can hope. Anyways, um, okay, I'll start working on your new barn first thing tomorrow morning. Sweet! What do we got here? Help wanted. I need a red mullet if it's not too inconvenient. Demetrius. I suppose I could accept that quest. I don't know that it's really going to get me anywhere there. Aha, it is Clint's birthday. I knew that. Hey, Clint, what's up? We need to process a couple of geodes, first of all. Three magma geodes. One. Holy crap, it's iridium. Sweet, I can make, a, I can make one iridium bar, finally. Uh, lemon stone. Okay, and some clay. Eh, nothing phenomenal. So, what's up, man? The weather doesn't really matter to me. Da 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 da, -da things I've already heard. Um, let's give him some aquamarine. Here, man. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. How's my relationship going with Clint? Oh, he's we get we getting on thick as thieves now. Anyway, um now, I've got something to donate to Gunther. Hopefully, like, well, actually, I know for certain that Gunther isn't going to have anything to give to me. So, I don't know. We're going to do it anyway. Donate to museum. I've only got two things. Not even two things. Evidently, I already donated one of them. So, I got this cog. Okay. There we go, Gunther. And you don't give me anything in return. Thanks. Bye. <gasps> oh, what's this? Marnie, we can't. If word got out, it could undermine my position of authority in the town. You understand, don't you? What is the story going on here between these two? You care too much about your job, Lewis. There are other things in life, you know. Look like a soap opera. But yes, I understand. I guess we'll have to keep us a secret. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that look on her face. <laughs> Will William, you overheard everything, didn't you? I guess I'll keep it a secret. Man, I want to tell everyone because it's just like, why keep it a secret? I'm, I'm going to do the nice thing. I'll tell them I, I'll keep it a secret. Thank you, William. I won't forget this. Uh, why were you hiding there anyway? Ooh, uh, well, you know what, everyone? It's been a pretty productive day. I don't think, I don't feel a really big need to hang out too much longer. Let's go ahead and get a go to sleep before midnight for a change and get a breakdown for the night and everything. Thank you so much for watching. This has been another episode of Stardew Valley with me, William Strife, and, uh, you know, I'm having a fantastic time playing this game, and I hope that you guys are enjoying watching me play it as well. But until next time, I will see you all later. Bye!